Hi guys, today I would like to discuss about hypersensitive reactions. So, before going to hypersensitive reactions, we have an immune system in our body. So, what does this immune system do? It protects our body from foreign objects and foreign uh, bacteria or maybe viruses, whatever it may be possible. So, <clears throat> what is hypersensitive reaction? In hypersensitive reaction, our immune system functions hyperactively means exaggeration of the immune system means overactivity of the immune system so it will lead to some reaction and it causes some some changes in our body whenever it happens so that is called hypersensitive reactions so we will discuss about hypersensitive reactions now so these hypersensitive reactions are classified into two types one is immediate type The other one is delayed type. So based on duration, we classified them, them into immediate and delayed. So immediate hypersensitive reactions include type 1, type 2, type 3. And these are mediated by humoral immunity. And delayed includes type 4, this is mediated by T cells. Alright, we understood the mediators and types. So, we will start with type 1 hypersensitive reaction. So, type 1 is also called as anaphylactic reaction, right? Anaphylactic reaction. So, what happens in type 1? Let's take a person, for example, he is allergic to some drug we say, right? So, what happens, this type, type 1 uh, hypersensitive reaction happens in three stages. So, how does the first stage occur? It starts with an antigen sensi sensibilization. What is antigen sensibilization? So, it is nothing but Patient get to contact with the antigen for a first time. So, first time contact. What it does? It causes antigen sensibilization. What happens in this process? His immunity will produce antibodies. So, whatever the antibodies are produced, these antibodies get incorporated into basophilic mass cells where are these these cells are located in our body with the receptors called as fc receptors these antibodies will get incorporated on these receptors so once they get incorporated here the person the second stage should happen what it is the person should get into contact with the antigen for second time so when he get into the contact with second time these receptors get activated I mean, these antibodies get activated so second contact so these get activated and releases the contents of the cell so this cell contains biologically active substances such as histamine serotonin prostaglandins and etc so these biologically active substances release and cause the anaphylactic reaction. What happens in anaphylactic reaction? Maybe you have seen some many patients who get uh, allergic to drugs. So what happens? Bronchospasm, they, get, uh, they can get skin erythema and many other uh, changes in our body such as blood pressure changes. So that is what process happening behind this one. So what is the duration to get activated? This reaction will get activated in 15 to 30 minutes of second contact why second contact because first contact this antibodies are produced and incorporated into the basophilic cells so this is about <coughs> anaphylactic reaction so what is the best example for that drug reaction what we have the drug reactions right so that is the best example so we will go to type 2 Type 2, same, it get activated within 15 to 30 minutes. 
but it is not about second contact here. We already have antibodies in our blood. So this system get activated easily. So what happened in this reaction? The antigen enters to our body. We have antibodies. It combines with antibody. Gives a antigen antibody complex, right? So this complex, whatever was there, it activate complement system. So, this complement system, whichever was activated, it will lead to phagocytosis. So, this activated complement system, what it does, it pulls or it drags the phagocytes towards the site of the antibody complexes was there. So, it will come and it does phagocytosis. So, what is an example for type 2? Type 2 best example when we do blood transfusion if there is a mismatch between them we already have antibodies if it get mismatched it will lead to type 2 hypersensitive reaction or we have other condition for example autoimmune hemolytic anemia here we have antibodies towards our own red blood cells so that is what will lead to type 2 hypersensitive reaction we have another condition called as immune thrombocytic purpura here also the same reaction is happening and in uh, the autoimmune hemolytic anemia, we use a test called Combs test to find the antibodies against our own RBC cells. So, this is about type 2. We will start with type 3. So, what happens in type 3? For example, same thing, antigen, right? antibody what happens complex is formed so this complex should be removed by any of the manner for example maybe phagocytosis something or immune system uh, immune system should do to kick out this complex so what it will do this complex formed and our immune system failed to push it out fail to remove it so once our immune system fail to remove the, uh, uh, the antigen antibody complexes what will happen so this is also called as immune complex so this where it will go it will accumulate in our body so it will lead to changes why it will lead to changes this won't keep quiet, Where, wherever it gets accumulated, it starts disturbing the target. So, for example, glomerulonephritis. So, what happens in glomerulonephritis? These complexes accumulates in the kidney. So, this will lead to glomerulonephritis. We have another example, systemic lupus erythematosus. We have another example, Polyarteritis nodosa. So, what do you think happens in polyarteritis nodosa? The same thing happens in the vessels. This immune complex get accumulated in the vessels leading to the uh, changes in our body. It is about this reaction starts to happen approximately 6 hours from the complex formation so once it fails to remove then it will start accumulation so it will need at least 6 hours maybe so these were the immediate type of hypersensitive reactions so we will go to type 4 type 4 was delayed Right. So, what happens in type 4? Type 4, in type 3, uh, till type 3, what were the mediators? So, th those were B cell mediated. So, here T cell mediated, right? So, what this T cell mediated does, what happens? Once antigen enter to our body, this starts to react and it will form 
antigen receptor receptor cells so antigen reception are presenting cells so these activated antigen presenting cells will take the information to the lymph node so once the information is carried to the lymph node what our lymph node does with the help of t helpers with the help of t helpers they release one substance called cytokines what are those called cytokines so the cytokines whatever released it will lead to the proliferation of t cells what it does proliferation of t cells proliferation is nothing but getting increased in number and it will produce t cells and macrophages against so here was our anti gen so this will go and attack this so antigen entered this much process happened it will take at least 24 hours to show the reaction on our body so what is the best example for type 4 hypersensitive react reaction we all know one test which is done for tuberculosis it is called montox test so when we give montox uh, we in montox tuberculin tuberculin is injected to the patient and we wait for at least 24 hours minimum and we see the reaction changes based on what uh, the how reaction was produced we diagnose the tb so this is one of the method to assess the tb so this is about hypersensitive reactions thank you